<clears throat> Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist on this second Sunday of Advent. We are gathered as a community of faith to celebrate this Holy Eucharist and Mass. Just a few housekeeping matters. This Mass is being live streamed and recorded. Our ambassadors are, president, are present to welcome us, help us, and offer direction, especially at communion time. There will be a soloist who will provide all music enrichment for us. Baskets at the doors of the church are marked so that you are able to place your financial offering for our parish. After you receive communion, you are asked to leave immediately by means of the side aisle and side doors in the lobby. Everyone must leave immediately after communion. I am Amy Homan, your lector for this Mass. The celebrant is Father Jack. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you almighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, Jesus. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God, Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the desert prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the, waste, in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. Here, com here comes with power the Lord God, who rules with his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he, feels his, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. To you, O oh Lord, I live. 
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey. And this is what he proclaimed, one mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, each year we meet John the Baptist on our way to Bethlehem and our annual commemoration of the birth of Jesus. John the Baptist is grim and severe as he reminds us of our shortcomings. This year in particular, you and I have no need to hear harsh words heaped upon us. John the Baptist himself invites us to compare John the Baptist and Jesus. John the Baptist pointed to Jesus as one mightier than I. The adult Jesus, our risen Savior, is good and gentle toward us. The risen Jesus is always at our side and on our side. The risen Jesus cares for us with an older brother's love and loyalty. Dear friends, today we again express our gratitude to Jesus for soothing and comforting us. By baptism in the Holy Spirit, Jesus has made us his sisters and brothers for his distinctive style of strength and might, we praise and thank Jesus.
Kindly stand for the prayers of the faithful. With confidence and trust, we bring our prayers before God. For our whole church, that we may be open to God's loving, tender presence in our lives. In hope and anticipation, we pray to the Lord. For all the many people throughout the world whose lives need a gentle sign of tenderness and comfort, in hope and anticipation, we pray to the Lord. For the will to shower compassion and loving kindness upon those whom we judge to be different or difficult, and for those who are searching or seeking in their lives in this most confusing and harsh time, in hope and anticipation, we pray to the Lord. For our elected, appointed, and civic leaders and incoming leaders to lead us forward during this time of transition and change, in hope and anticipation, we pray to the Lord. For those who have gone before us this past week, Mary Ellen Kearney Mullaney and Gerald Paddock, for all those we remember on our church and virtual prayer wall, for all those whom we carry in our hearts this season, and for those we remember in a special way at this Mass, Evelyn Verna, in hope and anticipation, we pray to the Lord. For all who are ill, that they may have God's grace and be returned to good health, and especially for the many caregivers and workers who quietly help. In hope and anticipation, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are seeking to find their vocation in life, that they hear the voice of our Lord calling them to his service. In hope and anticipation, we pray to the Lord. For those who offer their lives in service to keep us safe, our first responders, emergency personnel, military, and all healthcare workers, in hope and anticipation, we pray to the Lord. Loving and merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we entrust these prayers and petitions to your wise and loving plan of providence for us. We are confident today because we unite our prayers to the prayers of the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church and Queen of Heaven, and speak them in the name of her Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our Savior, forever and ever. Kindly stand. Be pleased, Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For Jesus assumed in his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, 
and so fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins Do this, in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Evelyn, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy in us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Replenish by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Oh.